Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my Watt Sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is May 29th through June 1st and it was a good week except for one day, but the rest of the week was excellent and then y'all, I said it the previous Watt Sold, but th the weekend was the worst I've had in forever. And then this week has been pretty good. So I'm seeing more highs than low days. And I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but y'all, I am so far behind in getting stuff listed. I am. I have got to power down and get stuff processed and videos made. And because I'm running out of room, um, it's just... Right now is is the, the time of year that we really need to be hitting yard sales and estate sales and just seeing what's out there. Today we went to an estate sale that was absolutely amazing. But if I had gone on the first day, I'd have been disappointed because a lot of like the dolls and the plush were priced $20 and $25 and the plush was like $8 you know, $5, $8. And then today is, is the last day of the sale. And I, all the plush was $1 and all of the dolls were $2. And I bought a, I bought a bunch. So, you know, this is the, the time of year. So I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go with it. I'll get what I get listed when I can get it listed. I'm still trying to do, uh, an inventory, <sighs> you know, you do what you can do. I say this a lot. Whatever you can do to control the situation. And I'm just going to keep plodding along. Trying to get as much done as I can. But let me tell you my news. My news. We had some issues with time and the beginning of school. And just everything about going to the Highway 127. And it doesn't look like we're going to get to go. I was hoping we would be able to go, but we figured out that instead of doing the Highway 127, um, we're going to do FlipCon. I've already bought tickets. I've already reserved the hotels. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing Dave again and many other YouTubers that I've never met. I've just found out that Mel from Australia um, is going to be there. So, you know, it's going to be nice to meet up with a lot of other YouTubers. Um, so that's the plan. That's the new plan. Um, I'm not sure yet about the highway. I uh, know the um, 100 mile yard sale that starts in Withville, the end of July. We may try to make a day trip out of that. So if you plan on going to that, let me know. Um, but it probably will go up like early Friday morning and still come back home because it's only about maybe two hours from here. So, and then the next week is FlipCon. It just, too much was happening and school starting and, you know, we homeschool, but this year our son is going to um, vocational school just to kind of test it out and see if he likes, you know, I think he's going to do uh, machinists maybe and aviation stuff. I don't know. I don't know. So we were trying to get all of this worked out and we were really having a difficult time, but it did open up the opportunity for us to go to FlipCon. So I'm looking forward to that. But let's get to this. Let's get to my solds. There's a lot on eBay. And then my other platforms have just kind of been flatlined. I did have one sale, I think, from each of them. Um, but then this weekend, I've had several sales on Mercari and Etsy. So you just, you never know, never know what's, what, when people are spending. All right, let's start with Mercari. This is an Animal Adventure Gray Rabbit Plush from 2016, sold for $7. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping on any of the platforms. Um, so when I say something sold for a certain amount, then the buyer has also paid additional for shipping. And this is Cole's 
Cares, Animal Planet Zebra. It's sold on a best offer on Mercari for $9. All right, and then on Poshmark, one sale for the four days. It was this American Eagle women's jeans sold for $12. And then on Etsy, brass. Now, I have not listed the brass that I have picked up recently or some of the older stuff that I just never got to. So the fact that it's still selling, I'm good with it. This is a brass flying goose eight inch figure sold for $29.95. I think these Santa heads were in one of the Christmas box lots that I purchased at an estate sale many months ago. Um, I just decided to lot the three of them together. A crafter can do something with them. And it sold for $10.95. Now y'all on eBay, Robert went through all of my listings and if it wasn't listed this year, because um, I started coding them for each month that I'm listing things, but everything before January was just nothing. So he went and put 2212 which is December of 22, on anything that wasn't listed this year. And as I'm getting offers or I'm sending offers, I'm being a whole lot more aggressive with the prices that I'm um, sending or, you know, the offers that I'm sending or the um, offers that I'm receiving. Fisher Price Little People. This was um, a, a cat and a dog. I try to, I tend to put small lots together with like two, maybe three um, figures at a time. Um, these two sold for $14.95. And the fact that they've sold for the asking price tells me that it was an end and sell similar, which I do every day. Um, and it sold before my sell set in. So, you know, I'm a true, true believer that um, it's very important to keep your listings fresh. Tonka Pound Purries. As I get two or three of these, I tend to make small lots. Um, this was just the cat and the dog sold for $10 best offer. This, I believe this is a viewer sell. Um, this person has bought from me very often. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say if, if she is that I'm thanking her. So thank you very much, Leanne. Um, but she bought this Mary Meyer Red Bear from Chicago for seven dollars. Now this was a very nice sell. This is Hasbro Softies, the Grim Gremlin plush, twelve inch. I'm um, sold for thirty-five dollars and ninety-five cents. Now I'm not remembering where I picked this up, but it was a recent thing. Maybe in one of my bins bags. Um, maybe at an estate sale. I don't know. But you guys, if you've watched my channel, you know I don't pay a whole lot. Usually a dollar or less, sometimes two dollars for um, older vintage plush, but I, you know, I try to keep my prices as low as I can so that, you know, um, you know, my cost of goods is relatively inexpensive. This is How to Train Your Dragon Grunkle Meat Lug. It is from Spin Master, just a very small five inch plush from 2014, sold for $17.95. I pick up almost all things How to Train Your Dragon um, if it's in good condition. Jeans, still selling jeans. These are Riders by Lee. Um, women's jeans sold for $12.92. All right, these were from the high bid estate sale that I won two years ago, over two years. These are um, plush from the Endangered Wildlife Friends. Um, I guess you purchased them at a BP or Amico back in 2000, sold for $11.66. Now this came in one of the bins, the, the red, white, and blue plush bags. I didn't even realize. It wasn't one that caught my attention um, but it's probably one of the first things that I've sold from that bag. Um, it is a Little Miss Matched Sock Monster, sold for $13.45. Very quickly. Now, I think this is from the Hybrid Estate sale too, because there were so many um, advertising plush. But this is a FC Bayern München Bear plush, which is a soccer team in Europe, 
um, sold for $26.95. Pete the Cat. I find them on occasion. Not a whole lot, but I've found like the little clip-ons and stuff like that. Um, this one did have some condition issues and some discoloration. Sold for $8.96. A whole lot of bread and butter. Now, we used to buy more than we do now of these dish sets. Um, some of them sold very quickly for us, and then there's others like this one. You know, we pay five, maybe ten dollars for a box lot of dishes. Um, and I tend to try to sell them as replacements, one piece at a time. Um, this is Mikasa California Currants, a salad plate, sold for eleven dollars and sixty-six cents. But it has been a very slow mover for me, unfortunately. This was from the huge estate cell that I shared with you guys where all the plush was hanging from the ceiling. This was an applause Roger Rabbit 8-inch plush sold for $10 best offer. This is A&A &A plush. It was a brown horse sold for $11.66. Care Bears. I pick up most Care Bears, whether they're contemporary or vintage. This was Wish Cub, sold for $12, best offer. Manhattan Toys. Y'all, I love that brand. I say this quite often, but they just don't normally sell for as much as I think they do. They are such a good quality plush. Um, this was a larger monkey where the, the arms and legs moved you know as you pulled one the other one moved um i took a best offer of twenty dollars on it dudley perkins harley davidson t-shirt sold for seventeen dollars and thirty two cents i think that was a ben's pickup fiesta versions cat plush i think the saving grace for this one was just the unique color you know i a lot of times things that are different colors, more colorful, the pinks, the purples, the yellows, tend to do better than just normal colored plush. Um, this one sold for $8.96. Now these also came from the huge estate sale. Um, I picked up a few um, Care Bear items. Come to find out this was, it had been opened right at the seam at the top. Some of the cards and envelopes had been used. I ended up with 16 cards and 14 envelopes. This sold probably within the week of listing them. Um, even incomplete, they sold for $26.95. Cabbage Patch Kids Doll. This was the doll that came dressed in like a homemade um, baseball outfit or they had doctored up a baseball outfit and put like a Atlanta Braves or something on it. Um, I decided to split it up. I think I, ha I may have the outfit listed. I don't know though. It may be in my doll pile. Um, but this sold very quickly. I think boys are more sought after sometimes. I didn't have any clothes or anything with him. Um, he sold for $13.45 um, probably within a week. Lee Platinum Label Women's Jeans, $14.68. This is Cuddle Wit. I love that brand, especially the um, vintage ones. This was just a 4-inch pink elephant. Sold for $16.16. .16. Now, I picked this up at the recent church sale. We showed you guys footage of me grabbing a whole bunch of stuff. Come to find out... Um, in my haste to just get the things that I wanted to purchase there, I didn't realize the battery cover was missing, and it is integral. You cannot use these without that battery cover. Um, so I just went and decided to go ahead and list it for parts or repair, and it sold within a couple of days for a best offer of $25. I paid, I think, $3 for it. Now, this is just an example of a brand that, you know, nobody really probably knows about very much. It's called MVP. Um, I don't find it very often, and probably this came in the bins, and I bought it because it was a cat. 
but it still sold. You know, you don't have to have the name brand stuff to make a decent sale. You know, I probably have less than a dollar in this and it sold for $10 best offer. Now this I picked up, it's been a couple of years. I gra grabbed it out of an estate sale. I think it's my little favorite one I like to go to on Wednesdays. Um, just because it was unique, probably paid a quarter for it, but it did take a while to sell. Hopefully it works, but I did put in there, you know, that the box is damaged, um, but the camera inside was sealed. The film is expired, um, and I really don't know if it's going to work, which is probably the reason why it took so long to sell, but eventually it sold $9.86. This is Great American Fun. It's not a brand I go out looking for, but I tend to find it quite often. And the vintage stuff I think is very cute. I think it's comparable to Light Cuddle Wit. Um, and I've sold a couple of them here recently. Again, I, I stress a lot of times, we're selling nostalgia when you're selling vintage toys. Probably a lot of people don't even realize the brand of the thing that they're looking for. They're just basically looking for a pink rabbit holding, I'm getting stuck to tape here, a pink rabbit holding a carrot, a certain size, you know, a recollection from their memory. And, you know, hopefully you've, you've used proper keywords and they're going to be able to find your item. This sold for best offer of $8, but it's just a little eight inch plush. Mush Mush, probably a Ben's pick up. It's different. It's purple. It's a unicorn from 2020, sold for $13.45. Fisher Price Little People, um, I bought a bunch at the Ben's, and I've still got a box of them that I need to fin finish sorting through, but a lot of times, I'll do a whole bunch at one time, and then I just kind of let it accumulate, and then I start doing several lots again. Um, these are the um, Mrs. Potts and the Candle, Beauty and the Beast, and it sold for best offer of $15. Now, these I've had listed for many, many years. I went to a thrift store in Johnson City when I still lived there, so that's how long ago it was, 12, 14, 15 years ago, but it was a gallon size baggie just filled with different um, railroad, railway type um, items, stickers, patches, these key rings. I had a bunch of them listed and then um, I've just been selling a few, you know, over the years. And finally, this person bought one from me and then they came back and bought the rest of the three. So they bought these last three key rings for a total of $12.75. But I think, I don't think I have everything listed. I think I have a bag over there that still some of the items um, that I hadn't gotten to yet. Douglas, this is one of the small plush. I find the small plush pretty often. Most of them are bread and butter. I do have a video where I did some of the high dollar Douglas plush to be on the lookout for. A lot of them are the larger animals, um, but this was just a tan dog sold for $10 best offer. Now these, funny how some things you just remember where you pick them up. I picked these up at an estate sale. It's the same one where I bought all of the Snoopy clothes and it was just a box lot of stuff like these bookmarks were there. Some little books I remember were in this box. I probably paid a couple of dollars for it. I just decided to go ahead and list these troll bookmarks from the 80s and they sold for best offer of $13. Somebody, I, I'm not sure if a teacher had laminated them or they came this way, but they were all laminated in relatively good condition. Now, this was a recent thing that I um, showed in a haul, so probably um, from St. Louis Benz, um, but it was an Eden My First Christmas doll plush. It was made of terry cloth. Um, it 
had some condition issues or I would have listed it for more. There was a lot of fuzz balls. I used the sweater shaver as much as I could, um, but there were some stains that I was not able to get out when I cleaned it. It still sold relatively quickly within a month for $26.95. Jojo Siwa backpack. We bought a bunch of these probably two years ago at the Finders Keepers on their dollar day, we went in and bought a ton of just different things, a whole lot of backpacks that were all new with their tags. Um, and I think I'm down to one of these and not very many left of the other characters, but this one sold for $9.64. Cole's Cares, if you give a dog a donut, um, sold for best offer of $10. I love Cole's Cares. This is um, Fisher Price Little People. These are items from a nativity set. It is the palm tree and the cart sold for $11.66. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Heather. Heather purchased this Vera Bradley baby bunny rabbit. Again, I just listed this recently, sold for $12.95. Different colored plush cell. Um, this is an Aurora 5-inch panda, but it was purple. Sold for $8.05. Told you, a lot of sales on eBay that week. Now these, I bought two like totes full of um, just different party items. I paid $20 for both totes, um, and I'm, not, I'm down to just a partial tote left. Um, but this was just a party pack for Star Wars Episode One, sold for eight dollars and five cents. Russ Snoops, the Dachshund Dog, five inch plush, twenty-two dollars and forty-five cents. This is Disney Parks Sophia the First, ten inch doll, sold for eleven dollars and sixty-six cents. Aurora Clownfish. 8-inch sold for $8.96. A lot of these plush, you know, I list a lot at $9.95, a lot of my bread and butter, and then when I put it on a 10% sale, that's why you're going to hear $8.96 a lot. Now, this is Disney Sum Sum Goofy Plush. It is one of the larger plush. I believe it was 12 inches long, sold for $26.95. This is probably a Ben's pickup, so not very much in it. It is a gun, my first sports bag. It did have like these balls here inside of it, sold for $8.96. Hobby Lobby, I love picking up that brand. It does very well for me. Um, this is a 15 inch yellow rabbit, sold for $13.45. It's kind of like the Walgreens, the CVS. You know, there's a limited run and availability for these items, and they tend to sell very quickly for me because somebody's looking for a replacement or a backup. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Julie. Julie bought two things from me. She bought this My Little Pony, G, that's Generation 1, Betty by Eyes, I got all kinds of words there. Pony from 1986. It sold for $7.15. And she purchased these vintage Hawaii playing cards. I picked up a bunch of cards, I think, at an estate sale. This was part of that lot. Um, she's getting ready to uh, celebrate her 25th wedding anniversary in February. And they're going to Hawaii. So she wanted to buy this. So thank you so much again, Julie. 25 years. That's amazing. And then my best two sales of the week. This I picked up at the flea market when we were up in Rochester, New York. My son and his family took us to this flea market. And at first I was like, all I was seeing was ridiculous prices. But then I started finding some jewels and this jewel is one of them. It is a Tonka Keepers Pink Snail Plush from 1985. 
um, sold for $70 and I paid $5 for it. But y'all, look, look, don't look away. Look, look what sold. This was from that huge estate sale that I did the um, private pick at the home after I had purchased some stuff at the warehouse. Um, this estate um, was amazing. Um, Robert actually grabbed this for me. He knew the Chosun Heart to Hearts are one of the Bolo Bolo plush that I like to find. I ended up buying, I think, five or six of these. Two of them were in their boxes. Um, but this is from 1986. I paid $2 for it and it sold for $269.95. That, that makes you have a really good sales day, you know? So, I hope all of you guys are seeing an uptick in your sales also. Um, but, you know, you've got your good days, you've got your bad days, and we just have to keep doing what we can do um, to get through this. Keep listing, keep running sales, send out offers, do um, promoted listings, all of these things end in sales similar. I can't stress that enough. End and sell similar before it rolls over. You know, every month our listings roll over. Before it rolls over, I do it every day, three to four hundred of them. And I think it 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 just it really helps. It really helps. All right, let's get to work. Bye.